Welcome to Digital Asset News, the top stories in cryptocurrency and digital assets, and bring them out in bite-sized pieces. Today, game over. Tesla buys $1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin with a filing of the SEC, which just happened today, and that is going to be the only story you're going to hear ad nauseum. And I will just throw my two cents in, but in, in actuality, it's not just about that Tesla put $1.5 billion into Bitcoin, which is amazingly amount of money. Uh, really, if we peel back the layers and we take a look at why they did that, what the repercussions are across the different corporations and what they plan to do with the Bitcoin, I think it's going to open up a very wide swath of, of information for you to actually digest. And you can just tell right now, this is only the beginning. So let's just get into it. So this was actually came across uh, my desk this morning as I was perusing the Twitter, the Twitterverse, and uh, this just came up. I was like, hmm, that's a little interesting. So this was, this really just sums it all up. And I, I do like CNBC television here because, you know, just for the business part of it, they've really got some, some pretty good information. And the questions that are brought up, it makes sense to me now why Elon was tweeting so much about Dogecoin. It totally makes sense. So let's just take a listen. Let me rewind this real quick first and we'll break in. And here we go. And a new filing says that they've updated their investment policy to provide them with more flexibility to, are you ready for this, be able to buy Bitcoin. So just real quick, I want you to notice one thing. This was, uh, this was February 8th. How long ago was this? I came across this just about an hour ago. This was this morning. So the price was $39,300. let us just take a look at what this little piece of news did. And like I've always said, I truly believe that news moves the market. So what do we got today? 43428 Delhi sentiment. And this is trade the chain, sentiment analysis, all that good stuff, right? So they're up 12%. Ethereum's up 6%. 3% for Cardano, which was already up massively because they are moving into and it looks like they have signed some documents or signed some uh, agreements with the African government. I will get into that later in another video. Uh, 1.5, geez, 34% for Doge. Yeah, whatever. And let's just look at it. Everything's up um, just on news, just on this little piece of news. And no one could have, I mean, you could have predicted a little bit, but uh, not on the exact day this is happening. I always knew Tesla was going to move into this realm. Uh, Elon's not a dumb guy, but here we are. And uh, yeah, that's what we have. Let's just take a look here at the, the projected range. I always like to take a look at this. This is a weird day. So uh, when I take a look at the projected range of what the prices are going to do, like uh, on these really weird ones, like Thor and Cell and Zem, I mean, sure. Uh, it's just a really wacky day to do this. But uh, yeah, that's what it is. Let's just go back. But that is an amazing run in a very short amount of time. In an hour, you're going at 4,000 or, you know, yeah, about $4,000. So again, it's not just that they're actually buying this, it's what they're doing behind the scenes. Let's take a listen. An aggregate $1.5 billion in Bitcoin, the company says, under this policy and may acquire and hold digital assets from time to time or longer term. Moreover, we expect to begin accepting Bitcoin as a form of payment for our products in the near future, the company says, subject to applicable law. So stop. So they're going to start accepting Bitcoin for Tesla, Tesla products, also for the solar panels. Uh, I don't know if you can still get the flamethrower, but uh, they're going to be accepting Bitcoin. And the filing also is for other cryptocurrencies because they don't want to limit them to, to Bitcoin. So right now you may be thinking, well, that's fantastic um, because I can pay for Bitcoin and I don't want to pay any taxes. Not so fast. We'll get into that in a second. Let's keep going. And initially on a limited basis, we'll see what that means, which we may or may not liquidate upon receipt. That would be similar to what PayPal is doing in terms of well, how it transacts with merchants. This could be um, another, I mean, we're watching Bitcoin move up uh, on the back, I imagine, of this news. I don't know how quickly it's, it's getting would, into the public uh, realm I would, right now. But I would just throw an extra point then to, to the discussion we were just having, which is, and we don't know this, but, but, uh, but it, there's an added irresponsibility to push up a stock if you're also benefiting from it. I, I don't know if... Dogecoin was one that Tesla bought, but uh, there's definitely a correlation effect with the Bitcoins of, of this world. And uh, it, I'd have to go back through all of his tweets, but maybe Musk has also tweeted to push up the price of Bitcoin in, in the last couple of months. But well, he, he was. He, he was in the, just a few weeks ago. In fact, he had Bitcoin. He had added the right. symbol to his, his profile on Twitter and was doing a lot of things around Bitcoin that, that seemed to kind of push up Bitcoin at one point. 
that was just in the last couple of weeks. It was last week when he took the Bitcoin symbol out of his um, out of his profile and then started pushing Dogecoin instead. I, I think the question uh, I would also ask here is how his investors feel about this Bitcoin. Okay, sure. So that's genius. It's genius what he did. So what you're, what she's talking about here is that if you go to Elon Musk in his profile, it just says hashtag Bitcoin. And the interesting thing was that he's been he's been tweeting so much about Doge, Dogecoin here, Dogecoin there. The people have spoken, blah blah blah. And I was always like, <laughs> with the Doge out, it's funny. So I was like, I was like, why is he so into Doge? Because it's because the SEC has already had a problem with Elon. They've already uh, doing, done some kind of penalties for his tweets that he has done to whatever he did uh, beforehand. It was about pushing a price and whatever, whatever. So if he comes in here and goes, hey, I'm just going to tweet about Doge. No, not a big deal. Tweets about Doge, tweets about Doge, tweets about Doge. And then he didn't buy any Doge because he didn't say he bought any Doge. So if the SEC comes and goes, hey, you were tweeting about cryptocurrency. He's like, yeah, I was tweeting about Doge. And I didn't buy any of that. And uh, yeah, we just filed you know, to, to buy $1.5 billion. But uh, just because I tweet about something, doesn't have this effect because look over here on doge i didn't buy it i just tweeted about it. it went up that's not my thing i didn't buy it but also over here on bitcoin yes uh, i didn't tweet about that i mean i put in my profile but uh, we did buy it so if you're gonna you know uh, su subject me to some kind of fine uh, you have to really make make that uh, determination between uh, the cause and effect so uh, that, that's up to the SEC. I think it's genius what he did. He tweeted about Doge, 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 and really what he was doing in the back was going, hey, you know what? Bitcoin, here we go. And for this last piece, I want you to understand just how far ahead you are right now with Bitcoin, cryptocurrencies, assets, because you're gonna just going to realize how people just don't get it yet. And that's okay. They'll come around. But uh, I mean, these guys are financial professionals, and they're going to ask some pretty goofy questions. So just take a listen. It can drop. Uh thousands of dollars in a day. And Ron Barron has been a longtime investor in Tesla. And I'd, I'd wonder what he thinks about this too. Quite. Is he okay with them having one and a half billion dollars? Why do it? Um, I mean, in, he could not possibly have had a better 12 months, Elon Musk. He could not possibly have dreamt but to I, be in the I, position I, he's I in today you, where his company does not have any chance of going bankrupt, uh, any chance of running out of cash. It's worth, gosh, I forget the number, 800 billion. He's worth 200 billion. Why on earth do this? Why take the risk? Okay, so to answer this guy's question, uh, this is why. This is why they did it. It's because the purchasing power of the dollar has gone down uh, for over 100 years. On top of that, we've had nothing but quantitative easing. They're going to print another $2 trillion. It's going to flood in the market, and it's going to devalue the dollar. So why would you keep uh, your assets or all your, your your value into a paper currency that is being devalued. That doesn't make any sense. So again, when you start to look around, just go, you know, people are always questioning you like, why are you into this? Well, it's because of some of these reasons, because I want to actually hold things that actually appreciate value, an asset, a, a digital asset. And then stuff like this, I mean, you can just take a, a real quick peek. When, when your grandparents told you, hey, I used to be able to buy a loaf of bread for a nickel, they were right because that's how much it was worth. It's a lot of difference. Uh, it's, it's, it's a lot different now. And uh, this is why these companies who are smart, uh, who are leading the way, are getting into this. And I can only see more corporations getting into exactly what uh, Tesla, Tesla, MicroStrategy, and the whole norm have actually done, just like we see with Bitcoin treasuries. I mean, look, you had MicroStrategy. They bought $425 million first, and they turned that into a billion. They just put in, you know, now, now they have like $1.1 billion, and it's worth $3 billion. They made $2 billion since August. Uh, Galaxy Digital, same thing. Uh, Marathon, Square, HUD8, Voyage Digital. I mean, it's all these these big uh, companies. Well, I mean, they're not that big, but uh, you, you can see where this is going. And then as we just, you know, uh, with these different corporations getting in, it's only going to get bigger and bigger, and it's going to be a flywheel effect. Now let's move on to what we really think about is what are the ramifications? Because we have a very, very public company uh, and probably one of the most famous CEOs and founders on the planet who is talking about Bitcoin and additional cryptocurrencies. Because in this filing, it was not just Bitcoin, it was also for various cryptos. They don't name them, but they said that they, that they uh, will hold them. So the question then becomes, what does this mean for corporations? Well, like we had talked about, this was a video that we put out just a couple of weeks ago. And this was for the MicroStrategy seminar. And the big thing was that MicroStrategy and Michael Saylor, they were going to give all these corporations, they were going to invite them for free. It was a two-day seminar. I, I was there virtually, watched every single one of them, and it was great. And they just gave them the, uh, the playbook, like this is how we did things. Things. This is how we got through legal. This is how we deal with, deal with taxes. This is how we set everything up. This is how we talk to the board. They gave them their playbook for free and said, just do this and you'll be fine. It was awesome. And 
you, you, you can see right now that all these corporations are like, well, yeah, I mean, it worked for you, MicroStrategy. That's, that's pretty good. But what do we have? Well, now we have another high profile, like I said, the, the biggest uh, company out there. And they're looking at them going, wow, they did that. And we have the same playbook that they do. I know that these guys are talking because Michael Saylor and Elon Musk have gone back and forth. Now it's like it's game over. I mean, what else can you would you want to invest in if you got all these these big, high profile, very successful companies, and now you got all these corporations going? We have the playbook to do these things. It's going to be the easiest slam dunk of all time. I just don't see how it was like perfect timing. I don't know if these guys talked about it, but it doesn't get much simpler than that. So. Uh, yeah, you can check that video out. I'll link at the very end. It's almost has, it was pretty good. Almost had 300,000, 300,000 views. Not too bad. So, uh, yeah, there is that. But then the last thing I want to talk to you about was taxes. And to me, I had always talked about my, cause I, I would like a Tesla. That'd be nice, but I probably won't get one cause I'm cheap. But, uh, I was thinking to myself how great it would be if they just offered to buy things in crypto and I wouldn't have to pay any taxes, right? Not so fast. So this is a tax guide. It's an updated one, but it's the same thing for 2021. And when do you owe tax on your crypto? There's four times. When you trade crypto to fiat, right? When you cash out, you sell your Bitcoin, get cash. When you trade one crypto for another crypto, like Bitcoin to Ethereum or Bitcoin to a stable coin, that's a taxable event. And this is the one for, for Tesla. Spending crypto to purchase goods or services. Since uh, a Tesla car, uh, Tesla truck, uh, Model S, Model X, whatever, is a good, that means you will be taxed on it. So sorry. And then earning crypto is income. If And this will probably get the, the, the whole profile as far as staking and things like that. So uh, these are the four times. So don't get too excited. You're still going to pay <laughs> taxes if you want to buy goods or services and all those different things. Which leads me to my last point. Uh, if you haven't already done so, tax time is April and that's right around the corner. Uh, friends of the show, CryptoTrader.tax, who I want to say thank, thankfully has sponsored this video. Uh, they are giving away a free tax report, unlimited, which is worth $300 value. I'm going to link this in the description below. Actually, it looks just like this right here, which says crypto taxes. Win a free tax report. Just click on that right there. You're just putting your first name and email and you're, you're entered to win. Uh, also, if you don't want to do that, there's also a link, uh, the same place. You get 20% off just uh, for viewing Dan. And it's super simple. Like I've always said, like when I when I, I did this last year, I'm going to use it this year. I actually already started. Uh, there's an API integration from the time that I signed up to actually got the members area and actually put my stuff in and sent to my, my CPA. It took me 30 minutes, saved me $16,000. And, it, and they, it laid out all the unrealized and realized tax gains and losses. Fantastic stuff. Also, it's not just for the US. If you are, I mean, globally, it can it can do all these things as far as like pulling an API for all the exchanges, the good ones, even the crappy ones, and uh, pull it in and actually get a report to your certified professional uh, account, whoever deals with, with your taxes and whatever. Very easy to do. All right, and that's it. So, uh, I mean, big news it doesn't get bigger than this just all you got to do is sit back and not sell anything <laughs> that's that's really all you got to do today and then uh i and then i i will say this some people are gonna be like man i wish i would have bought more i wish i would have bought more but don't feel like that because you got to just remember that you bought what you could when you could so just be happy with what you got right now i mean i this is as much as i could do i'm sure this is as much as you could do so just enjoy the day i mean look you've uh, you've fought a long time you've you've dealt with people calling you you know uh, not the smartest because you got into cryptocurrency you was going to go to zero and all that stuff and uh, today's a great day for you so so enjoy the w uh, lastly, if you if you made it all the way to the end, first of all, thanks. And second of all, if you liked it, just give it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing because a lot of things we do is uh, time sensitive, so that would really help out. And uh, that is it. So uh, thanks so much, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.